Starting a blog is hard. You need to know how to write, how to market, and how to make money. It's a lot of work and it's not easy. The internet is saturated with blogs and each year it's getting harder and harder to stand out. I get it, starting a blog can be hard for many people. It takes time and effort to start a blog and maintain it, but I think that the benefits outweigh the negatives. There are not many things you do that will give you an instant return on your time and effort like blogging does. And that's why I decided on one experiment. I decided to start a blog from scratch and my goal is to reach a $100,000 valuation of the blog this year. If what I've described sounds crazy, it's because it really is. But I'm still a huge believer that it is still possible to start a profitable blog in 2022, even if you are brand new or working a full-time job. It is not hard to set up a blog, but it is much harder to make it profitable. Blogging has become an industry in the last decade. It's easy because there are many templates and tips available to help you get started, but difficult because there are so many blogs out there competing for readers. I think creating a profitable blog is relatively easy for people with experience, but I do not believe that it is possible for one person to create a blog that can be sold for $100,000 in such a short time as one year. This is my opinion based on my experience, but I want to still try it. I want to start a blog, a single person blog, where I create all content by myself. There will be no hired writers and I want to see if I can reach this goal. So in this video, I want to share with you who I am, the thought process of why I'm starting this website and the science behind it. On YouTube, there is tons of content from random people that can give you advice on how to start a website from scratch, but I feel that most of this advice is outdated and sometimes wrong. This is based on my experience with blogging and SEO, so I feel that some advice is like from the past and doesn't correspond to the time we are living. That's why I want to use my own skill and experience from years of building and selling websites, but I want to implement and test some new techniques and tools that can make blogging easy for any person with any special skills. As Adam and Froy says in one of its videos, blogging is a science, not an art. It is not about giving people updates on your life. For this we have social media, blogging is about giving people what they are looking for. Give them answers for the questions they are putting in the Google search bar. If you master this skill, you can definitely create a profitable blog. And to do this, you need to a lot of content. While content writing may seem exhausting and time consuming, I think that we are starting to live in an age where we should focus on assembling content with AI rather than on creative writing. And with this approach, almost everyone can start a content website and make money from it. But before I dive deeper into this video topic, let's introduce my experience with SEO and building websites. So for myself, I'm doing SEO and blogging for more than eight years, but still as a side business because I'm still working my full-time job. This is because I love my work and the stability it gives me and my family. However, blogging was and still is a game changer for me. I started blogging in 2014 and I've never looked back. Blogging has given me the opportunity to connect with people through my words, share my thoughts, and create an income stream that gives me the financial freedom I never dreamed of. Although I sold most of my website portfolio some time ago, I'm still having four websites in completely different niches. The oldest website is focusing on technology and habit tutorials for tech beginners. It is my passion project, that is why I have never sold it, and I hope it will never happen. This website is in a technology niche, which is oversaturated and has huge competition. I can still make money from the blog with a combination of affiliate marketing and ads advertisement. The reason why I have still the second website is that I want to know if I can recover it from the Google algorithm update the site was hit in the previous year. Here I'm trying to implement a few techniques and I'm learning a lot about whether they work or not. The third website is a months old niche website where I'm using techniques that I will be happy to share with you. The fourth website is the one whose progress I will report on here on this channel. So let's talk about this new website and the tools and techniques I want to use on it. Firstly, I want to use as many free tools as possible. While running a website is not expensive, you have to put your own money into it in the beginning. You need to buy a domain and choose reliable hosting. Since domain will cost you around $10 per year, hosting is more expensive. In the beginning, you should get shared hosting on some renowned hosting provider where the prices start at $5 per month. However, you should understand that having good and fast hosting is crucial for your site. 
So choose wisely, take your time and make your own research. Domain and hosting are necessary investments, but luckily most of the other tools I will use have a free version. I'm used to build my websites on a WordPress platform, so there is no surprise that even the new website is built on this awesome platform. When I mentioned before that most of the tools I'm using come with a free version, I have not included a special tool that will be insanely important for this project. It is a paid tool with a monthly subscription model and you don't need to use it however, I have to use it. There is a saying in a blogging community, content is a king. To get traffic to your website, you need content that will drive this traffic. There are tons of people who will teach you that you need to write stellar content with thousands of words, but in my opinion, this is outdated thinking. We're starting to live in an age where nobody has time to read 10 minutes long articles. We are in an age where people are looking for information and they want to get answers quickly and in a simple form. That's why I think it is the right time to start implementing AI writing tools to content writing. And for this website, I want to write content with the help of Ritter, which is a budget AI writing tool and for me, a second best on the market. People who know something about it will definitely tell you that Jarvis AI is the best tool for content writing and they are right. With the pricing, it is out of reach for most new bloggers. That's why I will use Ritter, at least at the beginning of my journey. My goal is to create a content heavy website that is mainly monetized with ads and to do it the right way, I need to publish tons of content. And because I don't want to hire any writer, I will use the writer to help me write content. So my plan is to write two or three articles per day, informative posts to be exact, articles that will be around 1000 words long. A thousand words should be enough to answer any question people are typing on Google. If your answer is less then you are missing on ranking for additional keywords related to the topic. However, if my answers exceed a thousand words, it is a waste of my time. This is because people are looking for quick answers for specific information. They do not have time to scroll down over 3000 word long articles. In my opinion, 1000 words article is a sweet spot for this website. I still need to work on my other websites. I still need to publish videos on my YouTube channels and I still have my full time job. So if I want to write up to three articles for this website per day, then writing 1000 words is something I can wrap up in about 30 minutes. This is easily manageable. In beginning, I will focus on publishing much content as possible. And then after one or two months, I will start monetizing the content with Ezoic ads. Ezoic is a powerful platform for monetizing websites that not only offers an ad network, but also an AI driven content optimization engine that can make your website more engaging. Through this platform, you can monetize even a small site or blog that has low traffic. I'm currently using Ezoic to promote all of my sites and bring in some good revenue. So that's it. That is my plan for the near future. I hope the video was helpful. And if you have any questions, then please drop a comment down below and I will try to answer it.